was ever in the history of all mankind has produced more slaughtered innocents and more orphans than socialism with power. It surpassed exponentially all other systems of production in turning out the dead. Alexander Yakovlev, Gorbachev's right-hand man, who entered the archives for the last Soviet leader, writes in his book, A History of Violence in Soviet Russia, Y-A-K-O-V-L-E-F, went into the archives and writes that 60 million were slain by deliberate policy in the Soviet Union alone. The brilliant Chinese author, Yong Chang, with her, hus with her historian husband, John Halliday, had access to scores of Mao Zedong's closest friends and collaborators and benefited from the temporary opening of the Russian archives. The Russians had kept the most detailed tabs on Mao from so many sources. In her and her husband's stunning and magisterial book, Mao, The Unknown Story, they reached the figure of 70 million individual lives snuffed out by Mao's deliberate choices. If we count those dead of starvation from the communist's ability to experiment with human interactions in agriculture, 20 million to 40 million in three years in China alone, we may add scores of millions more. Shot, dead by deliberate exposure, starved, worked to death, murdered in camps meant to extract every last fiber of labor and then kill them. No cause ever in the history of all mankind has produced more slaughtered innocents and more orphans than socialism with power. It surpassed exponentially all other systems of production in turning out the 